What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about Sly Cooper's 20th anniversary. So, firstly, just want to say that. Happy 20th, Sly Cooper. One of my favorite franchises of all times. One of my favorite game series. Um, this is a really, really special franchise to me, as you guys probably know from all the coverage you know that I've had on uh, hopefully one day a new Sly Cooper game. But 20 years since the first Sly Cooper game came out. A game that I think I've said before, I actually played last out of the trilogy I actually played Sly 2 a couple times first then 3 then I went back and I played 1 through 3 I believe with the remaster collection could have been the first time uh, and then from there you know it's history so happy 20th and the way that Sony and PlayStation wants to celebrate it is by doing a blog post so I do want to say this is very cool Oftentimes, and even though this is a 20th anniversary, so you do expect, I think, something kind of big like this, sometimes games have these anniversaries and the developer, the publisher, whatever, very, very silent. Some really don't care about it. I really respect those in the gaming industry that know where they came from and respect where they came from. And honestly, I'm really happy to see, although, right, although we don't have uh, an another remaster of Sly 1 through 4, although we don't have a remake of any of these Sly games, although we don't have a brand new Sly game, at least not announced today. Maybe it happens one day in the future. Maybe it doesn't. It is disappointing, right, because that would have been kind of the ultimate way of paying respect to 20 years is by saying, hey, we're bringing it back. With that being said, while that's disappointing, the fallback, and, and I knew that, you know, we kind of knew that was going to happen with Sucker Punch's statement, right? And things just being very, very quiet. But this is the next best thing, in my opinion. You get an entire PlayStation blog. It's a really well, and it doesn't surprise me, because it's Andrew Goldfarb, uh, who's, who's a really talented individual. And they go through some quotes from people that worked on the original Sly Cooper, some memories of the game. Obviously, they remind people that you can play these games again now on PlayStation Plus, which is kind of like a, a love-hate thing, because it's like, yes, you have it, but it's streaming, which people really don't like. And also, you took it away from PlayStation, now only to put it back on PlayStation Plus so it was already up and then you took it down and you put it back up and you made a big deal about it which it is a big deal but you're also the ones who took it down in the first place so I just want to fire those shots because I do think they kind of deserve that but we do get a couple things that you can purchase one really nice looking poster um, which you can get like a gigantic version of it that is like the the, the pristine let's say version um, which is $225 there's another one I think it's a smaller version um, that has it's $120 and then you can kind of get like a paper copy I think that is 25 and then of course we have the t-shirt which I really the t-shirt's really cool you see the Sly Cooper logo I guess on our left but it would be your right sleeve and you see kind of this uh i don't know this grouping of the circles i i re this image is good this image is very very good and uh, I'm, I'm happy to see it. i don't know if i'll get it but I, I am happy to see that it exists and then of course a plush which looks pretty darn cool as well so it is great to see. It's great to see. The poster is fantastic. The one that you can, you know, for that they can range from very expensive. The shirt is fantastic. The plush, the plush, I'd say, is probably the weakest thing of the three. Um, the Funko Pop obviously came out what I think a, a year ago. Uh, I, I actually own that Funko Pop. So Sly is making a return in some ways through merchandise. I, I want it to come back, right? We've talked about it a thousand times before, but hopefully there is something. I know there's the whole, you know, there's the whole rumors that there is a new game and then those were shot down. It was still as an Easter egg in that PlayStation showcase last September. Whether or not they did that now, looking back, whether they did that just as like a nice little, like a wink, like, hey, we know Sly exists. We're not doing anything with it, but we know it exists. So we'll put it in the, uh, you know, in the ad. If you look at it like that, that's fine. If you look at it that they were teasing something eventually to come, then that's uh, that's something else. I do know in terms of like going with the people that say, you know, there could still be a Sly game, one point to it is that they have actually denied, I believe with Sly 4, Sly Thieves in Time, before that was announced, they also confirmed, I believe Sucker Punch confirmed that there was no Sly game in development. So it has happened before where they've confirmed that there's nothing happening and they were lying and then there was just, you know, a, a game that was announced later. So hopefully that's the case, but this would have been a good, uh, good day to do it. Instead, you know, we get this, which is still a pretty good fallback. They respect, I, I really do believe in a sense 
they respect Sly. They know they knew they know to an extent what they have in Sly Cooper. I don't think they know all the way, but they do know to an extent. If they made a new game, I would say they know all the way. So they know part of the way what they have with the Sly Cooper brand. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know about your you know first time maybe playing Sly Cooper one in the comments. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Bell icon turned on. Happy 20th, Sly Cooper. Hope to see you again really soon and hope to see you guys on the next video.